Geminis. My name is Maria Indigo Earth. I am here to do a general reading for you, our air signs, Geminis. Good to have you here. Thank you for coming into the channel. Gemini, you are kicking off the first reading for 2022. So thank you for coming in. Let's also welcome in your cross watchers. Please feel free to swap around the energies as need be throughout the reading. And anytime that you do come across this reading and you are drawn into it by the title was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Gemini, should reflect some aspect of your current situation as well as, or it could just be an inner knowing. It's confirming an inner knowing. So take what fits. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. The reading just might be meant for somebody else this week. But for those of you that this does resonate with, I'm going to have an extended at the end of this reading. I'm going to dive deeper into the messages coming through by exploring the zodiac signs that come up in your reading. And those zodiac signs can be about intimate partnerships, even if you're not connected physically, as well as and or background players. Friends, family, extended family, blended family, cousins, colleagues, work associates, best friends, circle of friends, circle of friends in your significant other's life. And even if you don't know their zodiac signs, you will recognize the energies that come through as I read through the zodiac signs in the extended. So just keep that in the back of your mind as we go forward. So this is for our Geminis. Moon, rising, and sun. This is for our Geminis. Moon, rising, and sun. This is for our Geminis. Moon, rising, and sun. This message is for those watching, please. It's for our Geminis. Moon, rising, and sun. Here we go. Overall energy for the reading. Yay, the Queen of Wands. Um, taking initiative on some sort of adventure, some sort of um, life quest that could involve travel that is just um, kind of right up your alley as far as like ingenuity, creativity. It's really tapping into those aspects of you that are um, expansive. So let's see what your current energy is. We have the devil, Capricorn energy coming through. So you might even be holding yourself back a little bit from this, you know? This is the what if card, like maybe not feeling up to it, maybe feeling like you're being blocked, maybe some fear. So let's see what your situation is. We have the 10 of wands. So something in your life has come to its end, its completion. Something has kind of like brought itself to the point where there just isn't a, there's just no other road to take with it. So let's see what the challenge is here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of tens coming through here for you, Gemini. That is the ending of a cycle. But this could have something to do with family. This could have something to do with, um, you know, how you make a living um what you do for a living how you bring income your lifestyle so let's see what the universe is co-creating with you we have the high priestess listening to your gut something here wants to emerge gemini something some sign of some sort of creative aspect wants to emerge here um and i think there's an inner knowing about this or an inkling about it Something on the outside is just not doing it anymore. It's just not working. And it could have something to do with your career or, um, like I said, how you make a living. So let's see how you got here. What actions have you taken up until this point? 
Five of Swords. Could be resisting. Not really ready to make this change yet. Or maybe not knowing how to make this change yet. But this is really like trying to clear the air. So what's coming towards you in the next zero to three months? We have the Seven of Cups. So asking yourself some questions, figuring things out, sorting things out, putting things into perspective, putting things into balance, kind of connecting the dots. Let's see what your strengths are in this situation. All right, we got the moon again. So listening to that deep inner knowing, going with your feelings, going with your gut instincts. So what's the outside influences in this situation? We have the Ace of Cups doing something that you really love, something that brings you joy, something that flows. So what's your next steps then? The sun, clarity, warmth, sunshine, freedom, expansion. Going for it. So let's see what the big picture is here. We have the Knight of Cups. So wanting to take action towards something that you really feel strongly about, something that's just really has been pressing on you. You, 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 you feel it in your heart. You know it's the right way to go, but it doesn't seem like the outside world is lining up with it quite yet. And so I think you're asking yourself the questions, what would it feel like if I really was in this place of doing what I feel in my soul that I really want to do. So how is this all going to play out for you? <laughs> I love it. The Fool, brand new beginning, jumping in, freedom, expansion, moving forward, whole new journeys coming through here. So there's some decisions to be made. Something is pressing on you that you really, really, really want to do. Um, it's been here for a while. What you've been doing kind of seems to be slowly coming to a close, working itself to a close. It's just not, just doesn't seem to be fulfilling anymore. So let's keep going with you, Gems. Let's find out what the Ten of Wands is because this is your situation. I've got the Eight of Wands popped out, the Ace of Pentacles popped out, and the Seven of Wands popped out. Well, whatever wasn't working here or whatever is kind of coming to a close, there seems to be somewhat of a push. Eight of Wands, like a, a hurry up, a hurry up and wait kind of thing. Some kind of a push to get you moving to start again, but you're still in a little bit of resistance from it. Like you don't feel like it's time to quite jump into um, the waters yet. You're still kind of holding back, not... You know, you know what you've been doing is is kind of a done deal, and you want to get started. There's there's drive and there's kind of like this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. But you're still kind of like, I think waiting for things to kind of maybe resolve themselves so you can just take that step. And when I've got the devil here for your current energy. You know, that's, that could be fear, fear of moving forward. So let's find out what this Ten of Pentacles is for you then. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. This is your challenge. This could have something to do with family. This could have something to do with um, your career, your lifeline. It could affect both because your lifeline does support your family. So what is the Ten of Pentacles for our Geminis, please?
Well, we have the King of Wands, so wanting to take action here. This is the challenge. Wanting to take action, you've got the information, you got the knowledge. We also have the Two of Cups. And we have Strength. The challenge is, is like whatever it is that you're trying to come into alliance with or what you're trying to blend together or bring together that's within yourself. Um, you know, strength isn't, strength can be that brute force. Like I'm going to make things happen. I'm going to set a goal. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to work towards that goal. But this one seems to be more about putting yourself, aligning yourself in the energies of what you really want to do. That's kind of the new trajectory here of, um, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, what would it feel like if you were in that place where everything was abundant and things were happy and things were flowing and things were moving and you're just, you're in a place where you're doing what you love to do and you're being able to support everyone you want to support. And you're in alliance. And it comes just from like your inner knowing, your innate blueprint. And so what I'm seeing here then is that this, the devil, kind of seems to be like what's happening out there. And if you can align with what's happening of what that would actually feel like, what it would actually... Um, because strength is about that innate blueprint, your innate blueprint, your imprint on this planet. And you got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. So you have the knowledge and the information to go for it, but it's just aligning, aligning yourself with the feelings of it, right? Because, uh, wands are about fire and spirituality. So it's not really taking the necessary steps, although that's, you know, part of the process, but it's aligning yourself in congruency with the feelings of what it would actually feel like already to be in that place and allow those feelings to just kind of, that energy to just kind of flow through you, flow to you and throw through you and then outward. Because the drive and the passion and the will and the desire is there. So let's see what this um, high priestess is. Because this is what the universe, what life is trying to help you with. Oh, I'm going to take that if it's going to pop out. Happiness. Success. Fulfillment. Peace joy and celebration so what life is trying to help you with right now is that inner knowing that inner reserve that feeling that what it would feel like to have complete and utter joy and happiness right nine of cups just bliss like everything's flowing everything's moving to be at peace with this and grounded and centered and successful um, let's see how she's just kind of sitting there like, mm, just, it's all good. It's all good. And, you know, three of cups is about celebration, play, um, joining together, bringing together. So again, what the universe is trying to work on with you is to get into that place of feeling it and being it even though you're not seeing it out here yet but just to feel the effects of what it would be what it would feel like and to start acting as if it has already happened that's what i'm seeing here because there's a lot of what's in here and you're feeling it and you're ready it's like you're ready to give birth if the empress comes out <laughs> We're, we're rolling here. Um, so let's see what the Five of Swords is down here. Because this is resistance. This is kind of how you got to this place. Yep. 
You're ready to move, Gemini. You're definitely ready to move. You're ready to take a tangible new beginning. Thank you. Knight of Wands. Temperance. Six of Wands. I think you've taken some steps and then you've kind of, you know, held yourself back a little bit. Mm, wait, not quite ready. Um, the desire for you to move forward and to push forward and to get this rolling, Six of Wands, right? She's coming out, she's seen, she knows what she's doing, or he. Um... You've kind of come out of what was or come up out of the ashes or, you know, you've kind of built yourself up and you're ready to move forward on this. And this is where the conflict is coming in because you're ready to go. You want to go. The, the drive is there. Right? Temperance. That's, you know, connecting to your source cord, working with the spirit realm, you know, knowing what. You know, that realm, even though it's not seen, is more real to you than what is being seen. And you're ready to move up into it. But you haven't quite done it yet, right? There's a conflict here. Like, you're kind of in this battlefield. And that could be what this devil is, too, you know? That battlefield of um, pushback and trying to keep it subdued. And you want to come out. You, you feel it. You're ready for it. But now it's really like aligning with that energy. So let's see what the Seven of Cups is. Because this is what's coming in right around the corner for you in the next zero to three months. So this is putting, you know, putting, getting things in alignment. Getting things together. Sorting through things. Um, asking yourself the questions that you need to ask putting things where they need to go. So what is the Seven of Cups? Clarify the Seven of Cups. This opportunity heading in. We got the Two of Pentacles. I'm going to take that one. Look who came out, the Empress. And then we got the Devil. Give me one more on this. We have the Six of Pentacles. So, for the Seven of Cups, on what's heading your way? This is putting putting things into motion here. This is, you know, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 right? It's making some choices, asking, asking yourself the questions, what would this feel like if I was actually manifesting and doing what I really wanted to do? And you got the Empress, right it's there it's ready it's ready to come out it's ready to be birthed but that fear is still there of like well what's going to happen if i do this or what's going to happen if i do that like you like you want to jump to the next stone if the stones are laid out in front of you you want you you're you're ready to to go on the journey you'll take the next stone but you want the stone right in front of you and there's nothing wrong with that but that type of maybe action of like, I'm going to step here, then I'm going to step here, then I'm going to step here, might not be the way to do this, right? Success is inevitable. Six of, six of materials, six of pentacles. Like, where what you're doing and where you're going is no matter, it's going to be successful, right? You, it's going to pay off here. This is definitely going to pay off. And I think that there's just some outside forces. And these outside forces are the systems that we, we have to navigate through on a daily basis. 
And these outside forces tell you, in order to be successful, you have to have this type of plan. You have to have a business plan. You have to have things mapped out. You have to have a business account. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to have all these things done. And I don't know that that's the path that's supposed to be taken. Not to say that you're not supposed to have some kind of um, not knowing where you're going to go because you do know where you want to go. That's evident here. You do know where you want to go. It's figuring out how to get there. And so instead of trying to figure out how to get there, you're aligning with the energies that you need to get there. So you're already feeling as if you're there. That's where this, that's where you are up against a force because the world doesn't do it that way, right? The world does not navigate that way. And so that's kind of the force that you're kind of up against. Kind of between what's seen and what isn't seen. But what you got going for you here, Gems, is that you're able to listen to your feelings and your inner knowing. And that's your assets in this situation because that's what's going to direct you. So clarify what that is for our Geminis, please. Very abstract reading, but very new earthy. So we have the Three of Cups. We have the Page of um, page of Voices or the Page of Swords. And we have the Ten of Inspiration or the Ten of Wands. So what you got going for you is that you know how to listen to that inner voice. You're watching, you're observing what makes you happy what gives you joy, what gives you peace, where you flow best, and kind of what kind of wears you down, weighs you down. And that comes from knowing from the inside out. And that's what you have going for you here. And that's what's going to help you make this decision because you know what help, what keeps you in flow. You know what lifts your spirits. You know what lifts your vibes. You know what um, you kind of can connect to that energy source where you feel like oh god this is it like i feel good here and on the other side you're able to connect to that energy source that just makes you feel weighted heavy ugh. like it's just it's too much so let's see what the outside forces are because we have the ace of cups here We have the Five of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. Ooh, and we have Awakening. So the Five of Wands with the Queen of Cups and Awakening. That is, for, that is the outside influences. What that means is Ace of Cups. You know what gives you joy. You know how to flow in abundance. You know what abundance would look like in your life. But it doesn't seem to be lining up. Even though you know, it doesn't seem to be lining up. Right? There's confusion. Like, why is it not showing up in the world? I know what I want. I want to go for it. I want to do this. I want to have my cup to overflow spiritually, emotionally, financially. Um, and you've got it with the queen of emotions and awakening. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Following your inner knowing. Leave the conflict out there to itself, right? Because it's asking you to follow what you know to be true for you. Awakening, right? The calling. Following your heart is the calling. 
and even though it's not lining up with what you see or what you um like the door doesn't seem to be open what seems to be asked of you here at this point is to align yourself with the energies of it because it's not going to be a stepping stone to the next stone this is going to be something that is much more expansive coming your way so let's see what the sun is because this is your next steps this is like just being with those energies that make you happy that you know make you feel like you're flying stay in those energies warmth sunshine support Very abstracty, very abstract reading gems. Nine of Cups. What makes you happy? This is your next steps. Whatever makes you happy is the energies that you need to be in. Whatever that is. If you like going to museums because you just feel inspired, stay in those energies of going to museums if you like going to coffee shops because you like the atmosphere and the vibe and the smell and you know it's warm and cozy stay in those energies if you like being around crystals and you like working with crystals stay in those energies of what it feels like when you're in those environments so give me one more on this knight of cups because this is about the big picture this is about what you really want, what really makes your heart sing. This is about being able to dream and imagine. The dream has to be there first before the reality of it comes into play. And in the past, when the dream was there, the necessary steps were taken to achieve that dream. But this seems to be more about being in the flow of the energy. The magician see oh my goodness gems what a beautiful reading um the magician you make it happen you have everything you need to make this happen spiritually physically um emotionally and the steps to take the action is going to follow you right it's asking you to take the action first in getting and aligning with those um with those feelings with those emotions moon right that's your asset in this situation and you got the universe helping you with staying in your high priestess mode staying in your happiness nine of cups what drives you queen of wands what inspires you what keeps you motivated what gives you life vitality? What gives you joy? Because the steps to do this are coming. The steps to do this, the King of Wands, the actual taking the steps and building it are coming by getting into a lion, a line, alliance, alignment with your innate blueprint. It's right there. And needless to say, when the strength card comes up, that is the only card that trumps that guy, the devil. And that's what's in your challenge. And it has something to do with how you provide for yourself. So let's get one more on the fool because this is where you're heading, how this might play out. Wow. Wow. Gemini's way to kick it off for 2022. I knew you'd come through. The Fool. The Fool is clarified by Ace of Pentacles. Something, a brand new tangible beginning um, with an alliance that is heartfelt, that is in complete, you know, harmony. Six, the lovers. Some of you could have, you know, once you make this decision, you could have a partner coming in 
and the three of wands setting your sights out and starting to see the re the results coming in to you so as soon as you align with the energies and you stay in that flow right it's coming to you three of three of wands it's coming to you you're going to start seeing the fruits coming in right this is going to pay off six of pentacles which is what's in your um, opportunity heading your way staying in alignment with what you feel deep inside asking yourself the questions how would i feel in this situation what would it actually look like if this showed up how would i feel how would i act how would i behave what would i look like what would i wear what would i dress like what would i eat who would i be interacting in what places would i go to and start feeling that because it's here for you it's just getting yourself into alignment it's not about taking steps anymore it's about the energies right this is a situation it's about the energies to carry you through to the next new beginning it's not about action because what's going to show up is going to show up once you align with this this is just i'm vibed up you got me you got me vibed up with this gems very beautiful reading for you um, so let's see who's showing up in your readings because you do have the lovers in your outcome here. Um, so I've got Pisces and Cancer. I got Capricorn. I got Leo. I got Taurus and Libra. That's coming in. I got Capricorn over here too. I got Sagittarius. I got um, Pisces and Cancer again. I got Aquarius, I got Leo, I got Virgo and Gemini, and I got Gemini up here, and I've got Aquarius up here. So I'm going to look at those in the extended. For those of you not going on, let's get a magical crystal for you to use to help you align with these energies. Divine Guidance. This is from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Deck by Judy Hall. So this is for our Geminis, please. Selenite. Wow, that's a powerful crystal. That clears the air. It is cosmic and it is a multi-dimensional crystal. Selenite is the divine light. In ancient worlds, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It invokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spiritually, spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use your insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with the present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish your confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. <clears throat> Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Reconciliation is possible. Well, that's what you got here in your, um, in your outcome. Reconciliation is possible. Stay in conversations that enlighten you. Your healing insight is being in the flow strengthens your well-being and your happiness. <clears throat> I'm going to read that again. With selenite, divine light, your healing insight is being in the flow of what strengthens your well-being and happiness. 
Your soul path is shining the divine light on earth. Awesome reading. Thank you, Gems. Love this. You're kicking it off. So this is what I have for you this week, Geminis. I hope this helped. And until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. For those of you that want to go on with me, the link to the extended is in the description box below. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.